did a book signing here at Barnes & Noble uh, a while back, and after two hours, nobody showed up. Finally, a woman wandered in, and she said, would you please sign my book? She handed me a book. It was a book about goat cheese. I had not written the book. <laughs> Uh, but at that point, I was so desperate, I took a pen and signed it, and we spent 20, 30 minutes just talking about our favorite goat cheeses and, and being detained at Ellis Island because she had an eye infection. And when you're detained at Ellis Island, you're placed in a cage as they await a second opinion to see if you're worthy to become an American. So if you can imagine this scene, a seven-year-old girl from Poland in a cage. She doesn't have a family. She's been separated from her mother and sister. She doesn't have a country at the moment. She hardly has any human standing. She's in a cage. You wouldn't have looked at that young girl and said, now there, there's somebody who's going to grow up and make a difference in the world. But she did. She did because she believed in herself. And that's she when I, as I speak around the country, that's what I find about nurses. You have hearts for other people. And that's a rare thing these days. And you need to feel good about that. There's a new book called American Nightingale, telling the story of one nurse who not only saved lives, but touched the hearts of many more. She wanted to be on the front line with those soldiers who were trying to stop Hitler's tyranny. You are in a world of many takers, givers. You're the people who care. And I think that's what nurses do. You know, I think that in a sense, you overcome evil by doing good. Uh, an insidious disease strikes someone. You give that patient comfort. A drunk runs a red light and injures someone. You give that patient hope. An abusive husband beats up his wife. You give that patient encouragement. Meaningful to her. It says, drop a pebble in the water, just a splash and it is gone. But there's a half a hundred ripples circling on and on, spreading from the center, flowing to the sea, and there's no way of knowing where the end is going to be. Everyone here this morning is a pebble in the water.